Ethylene is an important raw chemical for manufacturing plastics. However, its production not only requires a lot of energy, but also generates large amounts of carbon emissions. In striving towards carbon neutrality, Polyutene developed an electrocatalytic carbon dioxide electroreduction system, which can convert carbon dioxide into ethylene. Electrocatalysis is a chemical process in which certain catalysts are used to enhance chemical reactions and to reduce the energy needed for chemical reaction to occur. My team used a specialized electrocatalyst to enhance the carbon dioxide electroreduction reaction. The system developed by the team is energy efficient, using green electricity to convert carbon dioxide into ethylene. The system is also durable and highly selective. Research showed that the system could operate for over 1,000 hours at an industrial level current of 10 ampere and could produce ethylene with a high specificity of 50%. The system is expanded to an industrial scale. This marks a big step in transitioning to green production of ethylene. The team's research efforts yielded significant success. The research findings were published in the international scientific journal Nature Energy, and the innovation was also awarded a gold medal at the 48th International Exhibition of Inventions Geneva in Switzerland. More recently, a system developed by the team was sent into space, marking a new milestone in their research. Based on our research on carbon dioxide electroreduction, we developed it and manufactured a catalyst material testing device. During September and October 2024, the device was carried into space by the Laysan's first reusable and returnable test satellite, Xichen 19, and completed relevant experiments. The project aims to study the effects of extreme conditions in space, such as microgravity vacuum and radiation on the effectiveness of high-performance catalysts. It lays a foundation for applications in the use of catalyst materials for producing fuels, oxygen and specific chemicals in space. My team is now working on further improving the system to enhance the product selectivity and exploring collaboration with governments and industries. Going forward, the team hopes to see the electrocatalytic carbon dioxide electroreduction system and related electrocatalytic technology applied to local and overseas petrochemical plants and waste to energy incinerator plants as well as other application areas. Not only can this promote the sustainable development of our planet, but also help drive important scientific explorations that have profound impact on humanity.